And so therefore, elderly people could walk in their neighborhood without fear of being assaulted by their grandchildren. As soon as you become too big, they're going to look at you as a threat. This is to all the race hustlers who never mention these things, that these accomplishments that black people have achieved in the worst of times. I'm talking about I'm talking about before, before we had equal rights, before we like we can be all loud in the streets and and point in white people's face and tell them what they did to us and nothing could happen to us. Before black people could as if this is a something good, but nowadays, you know, black people can just walk up to a bl uh, white person and just start beating on them, and they will be held, they will be handed the same justice as if they walked up to another black person or Asian person or Hispanic person. Back in the day, though, you can even look at a white person and um, and not be dealt with in a way in a way that nobody wants to remember. But even way back then, black people did not look at themselves as victims, and they were able to accomplish many things. Because a lot of people don't take God seriously anymore. A lot of people don't take family seriously anymore. Or people don't take legacy any um, seriously anymore. Like, they don't look toward the future and plan anymore. It's like, this part right here has been left out. I want y'all to see this. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about this. This is crazy. 30 in 1940, during the years of the Depression, when segregation and racism was enshrined in laws, when there was no black representation in government, even in the face of these horrible conditions, the black community had the highest marriage rate of any group in society. Our institutions served as an anchor for us. Black people had the highest marriage rates out of anyone back in those days. Understand that. And so therefore, elderly people could walk in their neighborhood without fear of being assaulted by their grandchildren. Our business formation rate was high then. If we were able to accomplish the building of hospitals, dental schools, hotels, movie theaters, vaudeville theaters. Hospitals, hotels, schools, movie theaters, Broadway theaters, dental schools. List goes on and on and on and on and on. At the worst of times, Black people were building those type of things. But there's a whole bunch of people who say we can't get ahead because we're black. White people are the only ones that can open dental schools. White people are the only ones that can open hotels and movie theaters. And if we do build something, they're just going to tear it down. Placing fear in people so they not even try. They not even consider starting. I don't, I've never seen the benefit of that. Call yourself giving people information so that they can be woke, so that they can be, they can be in the know they can understand that they are not as good as they think they are yeah you think that you cool with the white man you think that you got white friends you think that you're successful but as soon as you become too successful as soon as you become too big they're gonna look at you as a threat as soon as you're too smart they're gonna knock you down to size when a black man succeeds too much quote unquote, too much, and he does not buy into that ideology right there, there are people literally waiting for us to fail. And they're hoping that it's public so they can then say, I told you that the white people was going to do you dirty. I told you. You thought that you was free and clear of everything. You thought that you was better than everybody else. No, it ain't about thinking that you're better than anybody. It's about understanding that God is real. It's about understanding that Times have changed, period. It's about not moving in fear. It's about having faith. But there's a bunch of people out there that don't want you to believe that. If we were able to accomplish this between 1930 and 1940, if we did it back then, there's no reason we, um, why we can't do it now. The excerpt from the documentary film Uncle Tom um, the speaker, Robert Woodson, is the one that's speaking on this. So it's from the movie Uncle Tom. And that's pretty daggone dope, man. That's pretty dope. Hopefully many people see this. Black people ain't going to look at no Uncle Tom. Black people are just going to think, man, they just trying to sell us. The white man created this movie, Uncle Tom. Yeah, they did. They just want us to focus on what they want us to focus on. They don't want us to come together. They don't want us to, to unite. They don't want, they don't want, they don't want, they don't want. The white people are the they. Us is the black people. God is fake to these people that feel this way. 
God's not real. God is just something that was created by the white man to keep black people in line. Yep. So that's what we're dealing with now. There are people that look at me like I am so lost. Like I'm against black people. Like I'm completely against black people because I won't believe the things that they're trying to sell me. Some uh, some people are trying to sell me, make me think that I'm I can never accomplish anything. I'll never get far with being able to take them with being um, without being taken down the size, knocked down the size. You're right. I believe that. My man Bad Intro says, um, time is running out. The devil is desperate. I believe that. 